Hey guys, I'm Yoru, and this is going to be the first video of my new video series, which shows you how you can create custom 3D models for League of Legends custom skins. I know it's my third video already on that, but this time it's going to be focused purely on Maya 2023. So if you use an older version of Maya, this will not work partially because there have been a lot of changes with the new plugin we got by Tarngainer. And a lot of improvements too. It's way more stable and just works better overall. So yeah, let's get right into it with a little introduction or like explanation. So this video will work for all types of 3D models you can get into the game. So it does not matter if you made your own model completely, for example, in ZBrush or something. If you make it by reusing Riot skins or other models from outside of Riot games. Or even if you just fully take the fully done models from other games or something like that, it all the tutorial, apl tutorial applies to all of them. Now I'm going to show you what you need. So first of all, of course, you will need Maya. For 2023, at the moment, it's a bit easier to get it. So first option is to get a student license. If you are a student, you can get Maya for free for one year if you can prove that you are enrolled in a university they accept or you can also try to make them accept your university so if you say you're a student and then into your date of birth and everything you can apply the other option at the moment is to get the free maya trial which works as long as maya 2023 is the most current Ma maya because if there's gonna be a new maya like 2024 which should arrive somewhere in 2023, the plugin might not work, probably, or maybe it will get updated or something, I don't know yet. Then, of course, you need the plugin, which is on Tarn Gainer's GitHub. Now, if you are not too familiar with GitHub, in this case, you just have to click on releases. Then you will see all the releases, and the first one is always the most recent one. So you just want to download the zip file. Then it's of course important that you follow the in installation guide, which is rather simple in here. You don't have to put it anywhere fancy or something like that. You just have to put it right into the Maya directory in documents and then enable it in Maya itself. And that's about it already. So just follow what's written in GitHub. Then you of course have to also edit some textures. So. What I like to use is Photoshop, which is not mandatory. However, if you need Photoshop, you will need a plugin to handle DDS files. The first option is NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter, which has a plugin and a standalone application. I use a plugin. But then again, this only works if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, for whatever reason. And if you don't have one, you can use the Intel TextureWorks plugin, which basically does the same. And of course, I'm going to link everything on the post below, which I'm also going to link in the description. Then if you don't have Photoshop, you can use any graphic editor which can handle DDS files. So a free alternative is GIMP, which doesn't actually need a plugin anymore, which is basically Photoshop for free. You can also use Photopea. And then to get the right game files, you need Obsidian by Crosa, which I'm not going to be covering in the tutorial specifically though, but I will have the tutorial for Obsidian linked in the tutorial post. And also, of course, CSLOL, because you somehow have to get your custom skin, your custom model into the game. And that's about it for the first video. And the next video, I'm going to start with making the actual 3D model, showing you around in Maya a bit. And yeah, see you in the next video.